Feline immunodeficiency virus, or FIV, is a virus that occurs in cats and is similar to the human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, that occurs in humans. Cats have white blood cells in their bloodstream that protect their body from infectious diseases. FIV attacks white blood cells and the ongoing damage weakens the cat's immune system. This in turn makes the cat vulnerable and susceptible to secondary diseases, such as painful gum disease, chest infections, eye problems, and digestive disorders, which can eventually be fatal. The virus is present in the blood, saliva, and other bodily fluids of infected cats. Cats primarily pick up the virus through fighting, via bite wounds, or through mating behavior. It can also be passed from an infected female cat to her kittens, both in utero or through milk ingestion, although this type of transmission is much less common. However, FIV is a very delicate virus and cannot survive for long periods outside of the cat, so it cannot be transferred to other cats from your hands or clothing, for example. Once a cat is infected with FIV, it can be months or even years before they show signs of a weakened immune system or infection, and many infected cats have years of normal life and die from other causes before their FIV infection causes any problems. Once disease develops, infected cats may become repeatedly ill with cat flu, sore gums, skin disease or digestive upsets. They may seem lethargic and tired or have a high temperature. It could take a long time for them to recover from infections. They may lose weight or develop tumours. If your cat is presenting any of the problems mentioned before or you have any concerns at all about your cat, you should contact your vet immediately. The first step towards diagnosis is for your vet to perform a screening test using a small sample of your cat's blood. The test takes just a few minutes to perform. An FIV vaccine is not available in the UK and sadly there is currently no reliable treatment, nor is it possible to predict if and when signs of disease may develop in infected cats. Vets will, however, be able to treat the symptoms of FIV as they arise and keep the cat as comfortable as possible for as long as they can. In order to protect an infected cat from opportunistic infections and to prevent the spread of FIV to other cats, Cats Protection recommends that FIV positive cats are kept indoors and only allowed outside in an impenetrable garden or safe run. You can also reduce your cat's chance of contracting FIV through roaming and then fighting by having them neutered. For more information on neutering, please visit our website. Most catteries will accept FIV positive cats if they are not showing other signs of infectious disease. The virus is easily killed by disinfectants and therefore simple precautions and routine cleaning procedures will prevent transmission of the virus in a normal boarding environment where cats are housed separately. However, the immune systems of FIV positive cats may be poor and infections caught while in a cattery could be more serious than for an FIV negative cat. For this reason, a pet sitting service may be a safer option for your FIV positive cat. If you are considering giving a home to an FIV positive cat, Cats Protection recommends the following. Keep them indoors to prevent exposure to potential infection and prevent the spread of FIV to other cats. Implement routine flea and worming control. Speak to your vet about using the most appropriate treatment for your cat's needs. Feed a complete and balanced diet. Avoid raw diets due to the increased risk of foodborne bacterial and parasitic diseases and take your cat for a routine checkup with the vet at least twice a year. For more information on cats and FIV, please visit our website.